on a lot of moisturizer normally. I'm having to use, oops, let me hit that. Um, I'm also feeling like I would have had to use like a lot of like exfoliants and all that stuff. So, and I have used so many products. So when I say this, um, if you come into my bathroom, you'll see all types of stuff because I've always just tried all kinds of things. And really, I haven't found really anything that really worked that I'm like, okay, this is really great for my skin. Um, I always felt like it made my skin look really like more red, right? Because I have rosacea. So I'm trying to help my skin so my skin doesn't look so red. Um, I also don't like to wear a lot of makeup. I'm not a big makeup girl. I don't wear a lot of like, you, I mean, you can see right now, I'm pretty plain. I just have this like a little bit of eyeshadow, but I don't have a lot of other things. Um, so I like more natural. So when Shell talked about this, I was like, okay, I'd like to try it because I'm, I like more natural things. And I also like the fact that I didn't feel like I had to do a lot with my skin every single day. So there are three products and I love that because then I don't have to like do all these different things. And it, it's such an easy system that I found. But what I really found guys, that is that it made my skin a lot more moist. Like, so I didn't feel like I had to put on like all that night moisturizer and all that type of stuff. So it, it that's one of the things that really helped me. The other thing is, is I felt like it's taking away some of the redness of my skin. Now I do have um, some cover up on, but they didn't put a a lot of makeup on because I, like I said, I'm just not a big makeup girl. I don't like a lot of makeup. So that's the other thing that I loved about it is that it, I don't feel like I have to put a lot on to cover up. Um, it just makes my skin very smooth. So, and I just, I don't know, look at it. I just feel like it's so much better. And normally my skin would be really broke out, like, cause my rosacea is pretty bad, um, that I have. So, um, what I'll do is I will take pictures before, um, like I put on any kind of cover up. So you, then Shell can share those with you guys as well too. So you can kind of see, you know, what my skin looks like when I don't have anything on it, but we're out and about today. So I did want to at least put something on, um, you know, today, but yeah, so that's what I'm noticing. Did you have questions for me, Shell, about, about it? Yeah, I know so many um, people I've worked with having things like rosacea, they feel like they should just trust the doctor and the dermatologist and only use specific products. But it's so um, amazing to know that even natural products can help with big conditions like that. And you've been only using it a couple of weeks, right, Amy? And you can already see um, a difference. I'm almost, I'm almost at 30 days. So mm -hmm. that's the thing is I wanted to do like a 30 day challenge um, and, you know, put this on my skin. And I will be honest with you guys. I do not wash. I don't, I don't do it two times a day. I really wish I could, but you know, you forget them sometimes. Right. Yeah. I mean, and so that's the other thing is I didn't feel like I just have to like, you know, okay, I have to just do this like all the time. I felt like I can do it in my own time, which is really good. Um, I also should mention they really wanted to laser my skin. So when I went to see the dermatologist the last time about my skin, I said, you know, I really don't want to have to wear all this makeup and all this cover up all the time because I felt like then it was just drying my skin out. Right. And it was like making it look cakey and just flaky and everything. And they had suggested they are like, okay, so you have rosacea. So what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to laser your face. And I was like, laser my face. Well, for one, I hate needles. I'm a needle phobic. And the other is that they said that once you get that done, you can't go anywhere for probably about a week, week and a half, because your face is swollen, like, like, like the elephant man or, or something. And I thought, well, I don't know if I can take a week off from not doing anything and not going live in my group for my business and things like that. So I just never did it. I just, I held off on it. And I think I mentioned that to you that they wanted to do that. And that was something that I was like, okay, if I can prevent from having to have my face laser, um, I'm going to try anything because <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to have to have that done. So yeah, no, it, it's so but, powerful. Yeah. And the fact so, that no. you've been able to heal that at home is so cool. Like, you know, it's progressing and hopefully it will just get better and better, right? Absolutely. Yeah, no. And I, at first, I will tell you just the same thing that other people will probably think is that when you go to put on the cleanser, you're so used to over all the years that you have washed your face with all these different types of products, right? That it like lathers up and you're just like lathered up. And so that was really kind of confusing to me at first. But then once I got, you know, started doing, it, I was like, wow, this just takes off the makeup 
so much faster with the oil base than it does with the actual of the um, the cleansers where you're scrubbing and everything. And I think that also is really good for your face because then you're not like scrubbing your face, right? I mean, it's just more of a natural feel. Um, and then I love the spray. I love, you know, the, the little spritzer that I put on. And then the glow, I just feel like it helps make my skin just glow. Um, you know, I'm in really bad lighting right now. So I probably should put myself in a little bit better lighting. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have more of a natural look. I don't want to like have like a lot. I think we lost her. <laughs> I'm sorry about her bad reception with her being at the vet, but it's such a fun story to know that she was willing to try this new system and that it is helping um, far more than the dermatologist and everything like that. So Amy, thank you. If you can hear me, thank you for coming on and, and sharing that um, for yeah. all of us. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And I'm excited to share some of your pictures with everyone that's a little closer with better lighting. But I kind of wanted to go through um, with you guys what the system is and what it can do for you guys. So um, will you guys let me know if you can see my screen? Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so for those of you who have been here for a while, you know about my garlic skin test. You know the power that your skin has to absorb everything you put on it. Just stepping on a fresh clove of garlic for uh, 30 seconds to a minute will allow you to be tasting the garlic in your mouth. So it's so um, powerful to realize that everything you put on your skin absorbs right into your bloodstream. Your skin is made up of just really simple thin layers and that absorbs directly into the rest of your body. Think about your shampoo, nail polish, hair dye, your fragrances, cleansers, everything that you're putting on, whether it's on your scalp or on your skin, um, even on your nails can absorb right into, <clears throat> sorry, your whole blood system. And that can cause a lot of problems, um, especially if toxins are really hard on your body. So the average woman uses 12 skincare products a day, which that could be um, from your cleanser to the makeup you're putting on, that equals to around 160 chemicals you put on your skin each day. Most of those chemicals are not um, like food-based and natural things, they're more of the toxic chemicals. So that's a lot of chemicals we're being exposed to just by what we're putting on our skin. And when it comes to like glowing and being healthy, that's a lot uh, that's taking away from some of that. So we wanna work on, on some of those things. So here's a picture of your skin. You can see that you have the dermis and the epidermis and then right underneath it is all these blood uh, vessels and you have these oil glands that are right here by the, your hairs and, and the fats. We have these pores that go into, um, that are through our skin that we can just easily absorb every little thing that we're putting onto our skin. And the skin is supposed to be this protective layer, right? We all know what the skin does. Um, it really is to help protect us by having this natural microbiome layer up here. These, um, little bugs and bacteria and things that are supposed to be helping us. And then these oil glands, they release what's called sebum. Sebum is on our skin to help be a protectant and to be a natural lubricant um, so that toxins don't come in to these, these pores and these openings that we have into our skin. Your skin wants to protect you that way. Well, if you remove this natural microbiome layer and all of those natural oils, what you're doing is you're leaving your skin open to be damaged and hurt by other bacteria and dirt and things that are going into these deeper layers of your skin that shouldn't be. And that's what's causing a lot of problems. Um, as I get in deeper to this, as your skin uh, is a natural detoxifying agent, like it wants to get rid of things through sweat and stuff. If we're clogging that up too, it's causing other problems with detoxification. So um, just knowing that your skin is supposed to be protecting you and we shouldn't be washing it away is, is a huge part of why I did this um, skin system the way that I did. Um, so when you use things like microderm abrasion cleansers, if you do like chemical pills, what you're doing is you're completely wiping away that layer of your skin. Even some masks that we you know, say are healthy are pulling away 
the natural um, protective layer of our skin. And that is exactly what we don't want. Your skin wants those oils. So sometimes when you're taking away that natural protective layer, your body will produce more oils, giving you oily skin, or will produce less oils because you wash it away and you'll get dry skin. Neither one are a healthy way to have um, your skin glow and be healthy. So we really want to be able to balance your ability to keep the oils and these natural, what we call microflora on your skin um, with the, still getting rid of the dirt and the makeup and the things that we don't want, right? So um, when I um, had burned my face, I was I was a Mary Kay salsa woman and I um, believed that just higher quality products would be good for my skin. And I used to put on foundation. This is a, a picture. I don't really have any pictures of when I burned my face. I took one and my phone was ruined so I didn't get that picture, but you can see some of the um, scars that I had from it. And um, it was actually like my whole cheeks. I had big long lines of scarring and then lots of little dots all over. And those deeper dots were the things that took longer to heal. And um, I was just so embarrassed of it. I didn't have any pictures. And this is just one ha picture I happen to have. And it, it's so embarrassing and hard for me to show you guys because it just shows some of the scarring and things that um, I just didn't know how to get rid of. And so the initial burns healed. I did have burn scars, but those deep pockets of burns were just really painful and scary. And that was in 2007. That was 17 years ago. And I was told after I burned my face with squash that I would never heal those scars, that I would always have those marks. And I don't put foundation or anything on my skin and I don't have those scars anymore. And I want to teach you guys how um, I was able to do that. So oil cleansing, when I um, came, went into the research, I found out about this process called oil cleansing. So civilizations like the Egyptians used to use olive oil with beeswax to cleanse and moisturize their bodies and especially their faces. So Cleopatra is one that I loved researching because uh, she's known for using this method and they all said how beautiful she was. And so um, I really want you to think about this. Every time you're washing your face with oil, you're really stepping into what the royalty used to wash their face. So you are stepping into your royalty every time you use this. This is like the up level way of cleansing and healing and allowing your face to glow. So um, just like this picture shows, if you put water and oil together, they separate, right? Water and oil don't mix. So if you're using oil on your skin to wash your face, um, it will pull away the dirt with the oil, but leave the natural microbiome and sebum in place. So the, the beauty of this system is you're, you are wiping away the things that you don't want, but keeping in place the things that you do want. Isn't that really cool that we can do um, wash our face that way without having to worry about completely exposing our skin to all the toxins. Um, so my best kept secrets on how to heal is to keep that microbiome in place, allow your skin to have the protection it needs from um, bacteria and other things um, that get on your skin and from makeup and toxins and everything like that. Because even if you want to wear foundation and things like that, it's not going to be as toxic to you if you have your microbiome in place. So we want to go natural uh, as far as not adding more toxins if we can help it and not um, exposing our skin, skin to some chemicals that we don't have to. We want to reduce that chemical load. The, those um, 160 chemicals we're exposed to every day, we want to reduce them as much as possible. And then we want to really be nourishing our skin so that we could have that healthy glow. So it doesn't necessarily mean that You'll never have another zit again, or that um, nothing will ever happen to your skin, but the layers of your skin underneath will just glow differently. So there still are chances that you're going to have hormonal acne, right? But your skin overall will just glow and feel better and um, just look healthier. And um, so what I use is this three-part system. So I just kind of wanted to show you really quickly. Um, what this is, and I'll go back to that. So this is what my cleanser looks like. Um, what I do to use it, I call it remove because it removes makeup and dirt so easily. So I get these cotton browns 
I put a few pumps of this on the cotton and simply just wipe away any eye makeup because that's the only makeup I, I wear. And so it just easily comes off. I, a couple ladies on here can attest <laughs> how amazing it just wipes away your makeup. Even waterproof mascara will come off easily with just this cleanser. And then um, all I do, and I can I can show you guys is, is this is literally just oils and, and I just rub it into my skin. I don't know how well you can see this. And then just put it on your face. And what I like to do morning and night is put it on a little uh, corner of a rag and I get the rag wet and then I just rub it all around. Some people like to put the oil on their face and then remove it with a wash rag. But I just like to do it in one simple step. I put the oil on the rag and then just wipe all over my face. And it is amazing how well the um, makeup you're wearing will just come off. And um, if there was one product that I recommend, it's this. Um, it's infused with neroli and grapefruit and it just smells divine. Neroli um, is a really amazing skin healer. I was afraid to use it as I first started out my skincare program because neroli is very expensive. For me to get 16 ounces of it is $6,000. And so it is totally worth it though because it heals your skin super well. So that's how I do my, my face wash. Like literally, I just do it just like that and, and wipe it all off. It's so easy to wash your face. Um, I then have the refresh. So many times in the middle of the day, we kind of just feel like that dull skin kind of feeling, right? Like we're tired, our eyes maybe get a little puffier. All I do is just spray a couple sprays on my face, rub it in, and then put my Renew um, moisturizer on. And it is so powerful. So I just like to close my eyes and spray it. But um, some people like to put it on the cotton rounds and rub it in. So that's a great way to just give your, your skin a little refreshing. Um, toners are really great. Lots of people don't use them, but toners are um, so good for helping you lock in moisture. So when it comes to, I know some people are like, oh, I have oily skin. I don't want to lock in moisture. But you want that natural moisture on your skin that, that helps you just have a glow without you looking oily and greasy because no one wants to look oily and greasy. And so many people ask me like, putting oil on my skin is going to make it worse, right? Um, but it actually doesn't. It helps balance and just give you the natural healthy glow without being cakey and oily and greasy. And then I put my Renew Serum. This serum is what really helped heal the scars that I had all over me. And I'll tell you some of the other techniques, but literally just putting um, just a, a, a little bit on, rubbing it in and putting it on your face. At night, I put this in my hair because um, it can be so renewing. So I'll put it into the ends of my, I mean, on my scalp and onto the ends of my hair because it is a really powerful hair, hair treatment. And when I'm done, I rub it on my nail beds because it, it's a really powerful nail treatment too. So this is like my all over owie ointment too. Yesterday I burned my finger really bad. Um, it was one of those burns where you have to keep it under the water. Or you can't like survive. Have you guys ever had that? <laughs> like it just needs to stay cold. And I had to go to church. And so um, I didn't want to be carrying around ice. So I put some of my Renew Serum on it thinking, you know, maybe it will help. By um, an hour, about an hour later, I didn't even have any, um, burn or anything it didn't hurt at all I was I was impressed myself <laughs> so it's it's amazing how that stuff heals it is just powerful and beautiful but one of the other well there's two other things that I really recommend when it comes to skincare so many people tell us we need to exfoliate our skin we need to uh, get rid of some of you know those top dead skin layers and what I've learned instead is to use a dry brush versus like exfoliation or chemical pills or anything like that so a dry brush is really incredible because it will help get rid of those, um, anything your skin doesn't want on it that's a little bit deeper, including um, dry skin or anything like that. And um, it really helps bring blood to your skin. You want blood to your skin because blood heals. And so how you use a dry brush is, is I always start up on my neck, rubbing like this, short little strokes. Um, then I, you go along your neckline. I always start from the inside and move out. And then you just go up your cheeks um, to your face. Then I go around my eye. I always go outward, especially around your eyes. And then I do the same thing on my other side. And go up your nose and then um, bring it all back down your neck. Everything you do with dry brushing needs to go to your heart. So 
Um, in this kit, I'm going, going to be giving you guys for joining this class a free dry brush um, if you're interested in ordering, and I'll tell you all about that. But the other amazing magic tool that I've learned to use is a gua sha tool. Gua sha is an ancient Chinese tool for not only tightening and firming the skin, but to help really move the lymphatic system. And dry brushing does that too. Gua sha is really good for the tense muscles around it to help you release. So gua sha is done very much in a similar way to dry brushing. You can start going down on your neck and this is a heart, but it's shaped to fit different parts of your skin. So, um, and Christy can attest to the power that it helps muscles feel better, especially in the back of your neck if you have a tension headache. This is like um, acupuncture um, in uh, a little tool. It's the same thing, the Chinese will tell you that, um, but it really helps heal different um, points, pressure points on your face. So I like to use this groove for, for my um, jawline. You can use it down your nose and on your eyebrows. This is really good for your cheeks and your forehead. So you'll do the same kind of method and doing gua sha. This really helps with wrinkles, puffiness, um, red skin. You do have to be careful with dry brushing and gua sha though, that if you do have irritations, that you don't, you do it lightly around it until your skin heals. So Sarah said, my skin is so bad. My rosacea thinned my skin and I worry, I'm sorry, um, to put any pressure on it. Yeah, so as you're using this method, Sarah, you want to um, really be careful around spots that are irritated, let the oils and stuff heal it, and then come in and do some of these things. But you can always do it on spots that aren't um, irritated in any way. So um, I just wanted to show you quickly the slides around and some of this. So, whoops. Um, so I only use the highest quality ingredients straight from nature. Anything in the products that I have are things that you could eat. And that's really powerful because we're not putting any chemicals ever on our skin. I put everything in glass bottles so you can see exactly what's in it. I don't use any fillers or separators or anything. Sometimes it does help to give your bottle a little shake if you feel like anything has settled because I really believe that um, if you can eat it, it's going to be fine for your skin. And I don't use things like coconut oil, I've mentioned this before, on my face. I only use very specific oils that are not only healing, but won't clog your pores in your eye ducts. You wanna be make sure, I was just telling my friend this when she first heard that I use oil-based cleansing. She's like, oh, I have coconut oil. And she started using it. And then she came to me and she's like, Shell, it caused acne uh, on my chin. And I was like, what are you using? <laughs> and she said, coconut oil. And I said, don't use that. And I'll get more into the um, ingredients that I use later. I don't have a ton of time in this class, but I'll tell you how powerful they are. One of the, um, I can't find it right now. One of the things that I love is sea buckthorn oil. And it kind of gives this red glow to my Renew Serum. That's another very expensive oil. It's $5,000 for a gallon. But um, it is so powerful for skin specifically. And so I've really researched and looked into all different kinds of oils and products and um, formulated these together in the right way. And let me tell you guys, I've been doing this for 17 years. <laughs> I know the power of all different kinds of products and I've bought different people's systems and nothing has worked for me like this. I just recently bought someone else's um, system just to try it out and it just made me break out. And so I'm really cautious because I have super sensitive skin of what I put in. I don't put anything that causes irritation for most people. So it's sensitive skin safe and it's safe enough to eat. I always make sure I put it on my lips and so that it moisturizes my lips too, because it's totally fine and not going to cause any problems on your lips. So um, like I mentioned with dry brushing, it does tighten your skin, detoxify it, stimulate your nervous system. Be careful if you have like neuralgia or something also to be really gentle, varicose veins. And I'll be teaching you guys how to do this on your body um, really soon. But it is just a fun, powerful way to give you just a natural, healthy glow. And same with gua sha. It just really helps reduce swelling, reducing inflammation. If you have a sinus infection or an ear infection, especially if you have little ones or a headache, using gua sha is so soothing for them too. It, especially if you have sinus pressure, use the gua sha tool. When I use the, the these two things, I always do dry brushing first thing in the morning while your skin is dry, you don't want it to be wet. And I use gua sha after I've washed my face 
at night because you already have those oils on your skin. It will just rub so easily across your face and be super <laughs> healing for you guys. So um, I wanted to kind of talk to you about this still. You guys, this was such a hard thing for me to find the right price. So many of you guys come in and say that money is an issue that you want to heal naturally, but you're afraid of, of the price. And so I use the highest quality ingredients. I could get all natural, all organic. And like I said, some of them are very expensive, but I wanted you guys to have access to this. And because you guys are joining me as I'm really releasing this out, I wanted to give you guys the best deal I possibly could. So here's what I came up with. I am the full set just with the oils, the remove, the refresh and the renew serums are $100 and $20 on my website if you just went and bought them. But with this, the system, I wanted to give you guys, just for joining the class today, a free dry brush and a free gua sha um, toolkit. That is $25 that I'm just throwing in there for free. But this is the best part. I um, have the option to get subscriptions because I know the power of not having to think about getting your skincare every single month, or I have different options every month, every six weeks, every two months, however you feel like you're, you're going to go through this. And um, with the subscription, I put it down to $90 for you guys, $89.99, just to get it with the subscription. But for being here in this class, I, I created an extra special deal. I have a code called uh, just type in exclusive deal and you can get the whole system for $85. And the great thing about this is once you guys get into that subscription and you want to get it every single month, that price is locked in. You will, you will get this set for $85 every time that um, your subscription comes up. So every month, or every six weeks or anything like that. That's going to be the best deal I think I could ever give you guys as some of the things that I've bought before, things like this, I've paid $150 just for one product with um, lesser quality ingredients than I put in mine. So you guys, I, I stand behind this 100%. I know the power of it, but it also has to be at a price where I can put the highest quality ingredients in there for you. So um, I just wanted you guys to know the power of using oils, getting rid of all those chemicals, stopping the cleanser, stopping the moisturizers and things. You don't need eye creams anymore. You don't need like aging and wrinkle stuff or acids to burn away your skin. You really don't need that. The best thing you can do is allow your skin to heal naturally um, with the products that really help you get that natural glow. So um, before I let you guys go, I brought in a couple of friends to share some of their experiences with using this system. Um, Christy, are you okay to share some of your experience with, with how this oil system has helped you? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> First of all, I am obsessed with it. I was not always faithful to um, wash my face. I would wash it in the morning, like in the shower, but I never took my makeup off at night. And um, my skin really has shown it. I've got lots of damaged um, age spots and damaged skin just from the sun, lots of wrinkles. And so when I met Shell, we talked about my skincare and she introduced me to these products and I am obsessed. Not only do I wash my face every night now, I wash it every morning. And I, for me at night, it's just now it's a routine, but it also helps me sleep so much better because of the oils. I feel like they're so fragrant and they just, uh, it just makes my skin feel so good. Thank you, Christy. I love that. And I want to ask you some more questions, but Bev needs to hop off. Um, Bev, would you mind sharing your experience with um, the system? So Christy, you make me feel better because I too was one that was terrible about taking my makeup off at night because I was like, oh, if I wash my face, it's going to wake me up. And so the first time I used it was when we were all in Mexico together and I had purchased it and she brought it down to me and I wear the waterproof mascara. So uh, that's the first thing I tried and I wiped it on and it came off and I'm like, oh my gosh, this was so easy. And now when I wash my face at night with it, um, it doesn't wake me up. I just use the, the the little round pads too, wipe my makeup off with my my eyes first, and then I get another fresh pad, and then I wash my face with it. So it's not waking me up. <laughs> but then in the morning when I get up, 
I do the same thing you said. I use the washcloth with some of the of the um, on the washcloth, and I wash my whole face with that again. And it it really, and then I jump in the shower, get my shower, and then when I get out, I put on the other two. And it just, oh gosh, it just feels so good. And I wasn't using enough of the of the spray. And it was funny because I was I was still having trouble with some red spots. And it's really, I've only, it's only been about two weeks now that I started spraying more and it has made a difference. I can tell the difference in my red spots. It's they've, they've definitely gone a, a lot less. And I wanted to ask you too. So I have a little, um, uh, like a varicose vein in my chin that I have had there forever, ever, ever. Is that something that I should be rubbing? I've been using the, the, um, what, what do you call it? Wash, washa? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And okay. hoping that it'll help it diminish. Is that what I should be doing? Yeah. If it's not painful, you can use the gua sha to help. Yeah. If it is irritated in any way, you don't want to be using that. The dry brush can help. You want to be, you know, moving the lymph system and moving the blood with okay. it, but um don't ever do anything if it hurts or it's irritated. Yeah. It doesn't hurt at all. I can just see it all the time, but it's been there forever. I have no idea where it came from, um, but I'm thinking, oh, if I could get rid of that, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, you have to keep us posted, Bev. And, right. and that was one thing too, that when Bev reached out to me and said, I still have some redness, what can I do? Um, like I said, this doesn't necessarily mean that you won't ever have any issues or that it will just be an overnight fix. For most people, within three days, they start telling me they've noticed a difference and their skin is feeling and looking better. But some of the deeper things like Amy talked about with rosacea and, and Bev having some other red spots, it, necessar it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to fix it overnight. Some of that is, is deeper because if your skin is detoxing, um, it's showing you that you have other problems like with your bowels and kidneys that you need to get rid of toxins in the right order and then start really working um, backwards. But always it helps to get rid of the toxins that you're putting on your face because that is what's clogging up your bowels and your liver and things and then helping... Um, you kind of have that natural glow. So thank you for sharing that, Bev. And one thing that I asked Bev to look for is if you have liver spots on your hand, the back of your hands or on your face, that is a good sign that maybe your liver needs a little bit of cleansing. And I can talk about what you would do for that, especially if you have teenagers with acne, um, giving their liver a little bit of a boost really helps with the whole system. Um, I know I worked with someone that was on Accutane for a long time, one of the teenagers. And with chemicals like that, you definitely want to do a little bit of a detox to really help that skin glow. And if it's irritated, you want to be able to heal it, but not, you know, irritate it. If you have lots of acne scars or current zits at the moment, you don't want to be using dry brushes on top of it. You want to wait till your skin heals. So thank you, Bev, for sharing that. And I really appreciate you guys trusting me to help your, your skin heal. So thanks for being here. I'll let you go, Bev. <laughs> and so Christy, I know you've worked with your daughter and I'd love to have her come on and share more, but how has it been like doing this system that's so different from like normal cleansers for yourself? And then you said you wanted your daughter to try it. Mm -hmm. How has that like um, been in switching it over? So it, um, <clears throat> that's been so interesting. So my daughter may, she wanted, she will come on at some point, but she's sick right now, but she, um, I'll talk about her in particular. She's 16 and she is all into skincare. She is on all into makeup. She loves everything about the, the face, the skin. And so I caught her buying all of these products, um, just like, products that adults would use, you know? And so we really sat down and she just said, well, I've got this acne. I just want to get rid of it. And so I said, well, I want you to try this. So I had my system and I went ahead and bought her one because I didn't want to share or have to be going into her bathroom to get it. And she's hooked. She absolutely loves it. She uses nothing else. And her skin is beautiful. She used to have little bitty bumps all over her, her face and she's an athlete. So she sweats and gets clogged pores. It's beautiful. I mean, she looks so pretty and same with me. I, um, I just really, I did not 
know about using the oil to cleanse my face. And that's still the the weirdest part for me is because it really works, but it, it's weird. It's a weird concept, I guess, but it works. But my favorite, I love the refresh, just the spray. It feels so good and it just makes my skin cool. And anyway, I just love it. Thank you. I love that refresh too. I know so many people are like, I don't use a toner. Is it necessary? It really does help brighten your skin in a whole new way, especially if you're feeling like dull um, skin. It It is really powerful. It balances the pH levels of your skin, helps you retain that moisture and really does add to that healthy glow. So thanks for sharing that too, Christy. Yeah. And um, I have Missy on here. Missy also has teenagers um, that she, that she had talked to me about with um, different skin types and acne and things like that. And so Missy was willing to try it for herself and she loved it. And she's like, I want my teenagers to try this too. Would you mind sharing some of your story, Missy? Yeah. So I started using it in about the middle of June and I am actually very faithful at washing my face morning and night. Um, it's just something that I'm really good at doing. Um, and I had been using the same skincare routine for, I want to say about two years. And I, I kind of have the good, better, best approach with learning how to do things more naturally. And so, um, when, when you and I were together, you looked over my skincare routine and you were like, yeah, it's not bad, but it's not the best either. <laughs> and so I was like, I'll, I'll try it. Let's try it. So, um, so consistently morning and night. And I really think that this is like what self-care looks like for moms. Like I look so forward to washing my face and, and just that feeling. I mean, we love, some of us love makeup, right? Like I don't wear a lot of it, but I love my mascara and, but man, the feeling of taking it off at night is the best too. So um, I love how easy the mascara comes off. It really is amazing. Um, but I think my favorite is putting the oil on my face. Cause I don't know if, I don't know if you told me to do this, but I just, I, oh, you did tell us to do this, to inhale, like to cup your hands and inhale. It's just, I don't know. It's just the best feeling. It just calms me. And then just the rubbing I've been terrible at using the gua sha. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. I've been terrible at using the gua sha tool. I've got to put that by my nightstand and be better at that. Um, yeah. but the dry brushing, just the whole routine is so amazing. I love the way it makes me feel. Um, like I said, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I wear a CC cream every once in a while, but I'm finding myself wearing that less and less. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got the, the, the rosacea redness that I'm trying to minimize. Um, and I think, like you said, it just takes, it just takes time. It's not an overnight fix when you're trying to heal your body. So it just takes time, but, um, I, I love it. I actually need to let my teens use it, but I'm like, Christy, I'm like, I don't want them using mine. <laughs> I'm going to have to order their own. So <laughs> yeah. And, and I know, um, I I've talked to a couple teenage moms and they're like, Oh, I don't buy the expensive stuff for my teens, <laughs> but, um, you know, it really is powerful to think about. I'm not putting toxins in their little bodies as they're growing and changing. And I know so many moms come to me like, my kids have growing pains or my kids aren't healing well, or they're constantly getting sick at school and stuff. Um, the kids need, you know, higher quality products too. But it's amazing. Like you said, when you, you smell those smells, it's just calming and relaxing. It makes you feel like, oh, I take care of myself and I love myself differently, right? And it's, it just really is a whole system of not just like I'm washing my face tonight and I'm tired and I have to remove that mascara, but I need to just relax and just center and allow that the dirt from the day and the stress from the day to just be removed. And that's what I love about it. It really does feel like that, like self-care and self-love all in just washing my face and washing that stress off. So I love that recommendation you reminded us when I put the oils on, I do smell it in my hands before I put it on and it's just so centering and grounding. So thank you, Missy. And uh, I'd love to hear how your kids think about it <laughs> if they use it and this whole system. Um, it really is medicine for your face. 
you know, just like I tell people with food, food um, can be very healing, but so often we think, oh, if I don't get the chips and I don't get the toppings and stuff, I feel deprived, but instead switch it over to, oh, I eat the good stuff because it is healing and I want to heal and love my body. Same thing with the products that you put on your skin. If they are high quality and um, they're not just you know, just another cleanser you picked up at Walmart, but it's really a powerful healing system. And not only did it heal my face, you know, from all the scars and stuff that I had, but it really just helped restore my confidence and how I felt about not having to wear foundation and makeup because I didn't like those chemicals, but I felt like I had to hide and cover things up. And it's been, um, I don't know, over 15 years since I've worn any makeup, but eye makeup, and it feels so good to just put that on and feel like that's all I need because I don't need to hide, you know, my skin and who I am. Have you guys noticed that? Yeah, I love that. And um, I know that this system has the ability to help restore your glow. And um, this really is like the best price I can give you. It's only going to be here for two weeks. So you have some time. I'll be posting some other experiences. I have, um, some written testimonials and before and afters to show you guys, but this system is really powerful and I'm giving it to you at the very best price I can. So if you want to get locked into that discounted price, now is the time to get it. And um, I'm here to answer any questions if you guys have any, but thank you, Christy. Thanks for saying my skin is beautiful. It really is an amazing price. I really want everyone to have it and um, to have it help you heal. So Reach out if you guys have any questions. Thanks for being here live. Remember the discount code if you want to use that as is exclusive deal. I'll put that, you know, it's in the comments, but I'll I'll share that with you guys. So make sure you add that to get that extra 5% off. So I wish you all a happy week. I know it's Monday, so go and have some fun. And I'll be checking with you guys throughout the week on all the skincare questions you'll have. So thanks for everyone sharing your experiences. And I really appreciate it so much. And I hope you all have a happy day. Bye, you guys.